Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. I am so excited for today's video. I have been on the hunt for denim jeans and denim shorts. I've been really wanting to refresh my denim game. So I took the plunge and I spent upwards of like $2,000 in the hopes that a few of these will work out for me. If you guys are anything like me, it is such a journey to find the perfect pair of denim that really just checks all your boxes, especially denim shorts for some reason for me. I'm 5'1 and my waist is usually a 24, but sometimes you come across brands and the sizing and fit is just really off. So you never really know, but I figured with 16 pairs, I'm bound to find a couple that fit amazing. It's just statistics, right? If not, that's pretty sad for me. <laughs> This haul is going to be different than my others. This is going to be a true try on session. So I'll walk you through my thoughts on each while I'm trying them on in real time. I hope that through this video, you guys find styles and brands that you are willing to try or perhaps I answer questions you may have had on a few of these brands or styles too. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into denim shorts. With summer right around the corner or maybe you're lucky enough and it's already summer for you, but I definitely needed to find some new denim shorts. I wanted to give a quick little summary on the nine pairs oof, that I ended up picking up before we dive into the try on. So the different brands that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is going to be a Goldie, Levi's, Reformation, and Zara. And definitely within these brands, I picked up different styles as well. So for example, with a Goldie, I got D, Riley, and Jaden type of shorts, but really all the details and all the sizes, the colors I picked up and everything will of course be listed down below. So make sure that you're looking down there, but really just spanned across a lot of different washes from light, mid, and also a few of like black denim too. So let's just go ahead and get into the try on part. So these are the very first pair of shorts. They're the Goldie D shorts. They're like an ultra high rise fit. I got these in a size 23. Here, I'll come closer too. Size 23 is the perfect size for me for a Goldie. I find that a Goldie jeans run very large. And so I definitely always have to size down in these. Sometimes even the size 23 is still too big in some styles. So there's only a few styles in a Goldie that I can wear. So I definitely wanted to branch out and see what other styles I can find that I love. This is the first time that I've tried this style and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with them. I really like the length. I've been really getting into longer length jeans and with D shorts, these are about a four inch inseam, which is quite nice. I do like that it has a little rip and slip here on the sides so that way like when you sit down this part isn't going to be like super tight you know but overall like the waist actually fits quite well and there's minimal if not any gapping in the back too i like the ultra high rise so it's definitely like way above my belly button it has button closures on them. The color is really nice too. I guess I should add that. It's like a washed black. So it's not like a jet black or anything like that. And I tend to really like like washed black looking jean shorts. For the back of them and the butts, I think that that looks okay. I think that the pockets are positioned a little high and wide, but I don't know. I think overall it might be okay. So I think that these might be a winner. Next up is another pair of a Goldie D shorts. So these seem to be like a slightly different style than the last pair that I just shared with you. These ones are very, very tight throughout, like especially in my hips. And it does look to be like a little bit shorter and there's no like slits on the sides too. So very interesting. And I think to my point that every single style of a Goldie jeans fits slightly different to one another, and especially depending on the colors you get too. I'll come closer, but these are a size 23 as well. So same size. I wonder if I tried a size 24, if they would fit like a little bit more relaxed through here but it just seems weird. Like the seams, like it's pulling forward on this side. And then there's like a huge cutout right here where my butt cheek is showing. And it's just like really too tight on my butt too, where it's just, I don't think that these jeans are flattering on me at all. I like the waist that fits really well, nice and tight, no gapping either. The wash of them is quite nice too, but 
Otherwise, I do not think that these are a winner for me specifically. This style is by far my favorite style from a Goldie with their shorts. I have this in about like four other styles and these were my go-to all season last summer these are the ones that like made me fell in love with jean shorts again i don't know i just like really like the look and the fit of them it's a slightly different wash than all the other ones that i have it's more mid-wash and there's a lot of whiskering and different sorts of distressing throughout than my other ones in comparison to the other shorts these are one of like their shorter inseam length so this is like a two inch inseam but i still really like the inseam length on this because as you can see it still like covers your butt so they're still like not booty shorts by any means but what made me fell in love with them was just how high rise they are the fit of these is just impeccable this is like the best fitting jean like around my waist that i've ever found so really really impressed with these there are like a little mini slit on the side kind of like the d shorts the very first pair that i shared with you these are also a very non-stretch denim shorts like all these pairs that i shared with you so definitely keep that in mind they definitely can stretch out a little bit over time not too aggressive in what i found so i can definitely get away with wearing these a lot of times in a row before needing to wash them but of course when you wash them they kind of shrink back down to like their original size so next up is the Goldie Riley shorts. I was so excited when I saw that the style came out because a Goldie Riley jeans are my favorite jeans like hands down like i have so many different colors in that style and when i saw the shorts i thought that they were going to be the exact same but just like a cut off version and it's pretty close i would say overall i think i really really enjoy this wash i think it's a nice light medium wash it has distressing in it love the length i think it's actually a little bit longer than the d length i think these are about a 4.5 inch inseam I love how high rise they are. And of course, like it has a button closure on them too. The waist is really great as well. The only thing is like, there's, I guess, minor gapping in the back of this. So if I was to sit down, like it starts to like gap out a little bit, you know? So I have to see if that's gonna bother me enough because I think overall, I really, really like these a lot. I think that they are loose, but they're also still tight. They're pretty roomy inside, but then I also feel like it makes my butt look pretty good too. I don't know if it's just me. Really, really enjoy these. I just have to see, yeah, like I said, if this gapping back here is gonna bother me at all. Otherwise, I highly recommend this pair. They are gorgeous. All right, so another Riley short from a Goldie. This is just a different color. When I saw these, I thought that these were going to be it. They were gonna be like my summer go-to because I really love the color of the wash and the fact that it had like minimal distressing in it too. But to my disappointment, oh my God, was I so wrong. So the gapping in the other shorts, the other Riley ones has no comparison on this one. These ones just stick out. I have no idea if it's just a flaw with these ones in particular but yeah this is this is a no sis by all means this is terrible <laughs> everywhere else i feel like it fits quite well but just for some reason this is very strange so i would just be weary of this color in particular but the other ones as you guys saw they felt and fit a lot better in the waist but yeah it kind of blows my mind this is the same size and everything is there's a little bit of inconsistencies here. Okay, wow, I think I'm very much in love with this pair of shorts. So the next ones are the Levi's, they're 501, and they're like a mid-thigh length. It's funny, online it says that these are a three inch inseam. They are not, I feel like they're even longer than the Riley ones that I just had on. So I feel like these ones are probably like a five inch inseam. I right, sized down in these two because I figured out with Levi's, Definitely not a size 24 anymore. I don't know if they like change their sizing, but definitely the 23s fit a lot better on me. I am so obsessed with like this mid blue wash on these and it has very minimal distressing on them too. These definitely are not like a ultra high rise. They are high rise, but not as high rise as like the Goldie ones that I just had on. But I feel like these fit so well through like my hips, through my thighs 
and I feel like it really like cups and lifts up my butt too. So I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised with this pair of denim. I feel like Levi's is always really tight on me or it squishes my butt where I have like a pancake butt because a lot of their denim is non-stretch, right? But like these ones are actually structured really, really well. The waist is nice and tight without being like overly tight. There's no gapping in the back either. And honestly, I feel like the best part about these jeans is the fact that they are $70. You can almost buy two of these for the price of one a goldie pair of shorts, which is kind of insane. So yeah, I actually really, really like these, you guys. Yes. Next up is another pair of Levi's 501 shorts. So I ended up getting another pair in like a really light wash. I feel like this wash is more of like a blue light wash. I don't know if that's gonna make any sense to you guys, but I guess it's just coming off like pretty blue and bright, at least in person. It has mild distressing in the thigh. It has a raw hem to them. The fit of these is pretty spot on to the last pair that I just shared with you guys. So that's good because like the consistency is more there with this pair at least where for some reason I feel like in this wash it just like looks a little weird on me like I don't know I feel like I'm kind of partial to the more mid wash pair I don't know I feel like these are a really good option to try out I feel like it's pretty like form fitting and tight and again like lifts up my butt like I feel like a little bit of a lift that sounds strange but if you try these out you'll know what I mean and for those that definitely don't want like a shorter short and you want more of like the longer shorts i would definitely check these out i feel like they're pretty flattering especially with being 5'1 i don't feel like they are too long and too overwhelming at least i don't think so next up is a pair of reformation shorts so this is the charlie shorts and i believe it's like a 2.5 inch inseam so it's a little bit shorter i think this one is more in line with the a goldie jaden short this one is a little bit lower of a rise than the Jaden, but by all means, it's still a very high rise. I feel like the waist fits really nice in these. Obviously, you guys can tell that's a requirement of mine. It obviously has to fit really nice in the waist and not be too tight on the butt. So I feel like this definitely gives me room back there. I like the raw hem on these, the wash black look to them as well. I do find that these are kind of on edge of being like a booty short and you kind of have to make sure that it doesn't ride up into your butt. But anyways, I actually think that I really like these shorts. I've started wearing them a little bit on my Instagram. So I feel like I've kind of committed to keeping them, but wanted to share them with you guys here too. They're a denim that definitely has some good weight to it, but it also has a little bit of stretch to it too. So that's really, really, really nice. So next up is a pair from Zara. I'm not gonna spend too much time on these. These ones are a big fat no for me. I'll leave the style name down below. I think it's like a curved, short but oh my god these are like shorter than short shorts i gotta be honest it does like flare out back here so it at least like covers your butt but this you guys know it's so freaking short this actually fits like kind of nice through here but it is a little bit tight through my hips it is a zipper fly too but i did get these in a size zero i think they're about like 36 dollars so super reasonable but I think I need to try a few different styles out that Zara has. These kind of look like teaspoon shorts, if you guys know what those are, where they're kind of like shorter in the front and then they flare out in the back like this. I don't know. Not a style for me though. Now we are heading in to the jean portion of this try on video. You guys, what is this? You know, this is so much denim. I'm so excited to try on each of these for you. So again, a quick little summary and overview of what I'm gonna be trying on. I have a Goldie in here. I have Levi's and I have Zara as well. For a Goldie, the different styles that I have is Jamie, Sherry, and Riley. And then for Levi's, it's the 501s. And then for Zara, I have a few like straight leg and mom jean options too. So let's just go ahead and get into into the try on part. So getting started into jeans, hopefully you guys can still see things okay because the light is starting to come in, the sun is setting. But this is the first pair of a Goldie jeans that I wanted to share with you guys. It is the Riley style. So this is hands down my favorite style of jean from a Goldie. A few things again with Riley jeans, I do find them to be a little bit inconsistent. So for instance, the length, they say that they're supposed to be like a 26 inch inseam, but sometimes it fluctuates like an inch or so from that. 
I have a couple pairs that's like an two inches probably shorter than this and then this pair seems a little bit longer I also will say that when I wash these that's typically when I find that they fit a tad better that might just be because I'm still like on edge with a size 23 I don't know the waist on this which is interesting and now that I'm kind of comparing it with the shorts that I just tried out it does look like the waist on this fits exactly the same as the Riley short so that's really good to know at least the first pair of Riley shorts that I shared with you that had less gapping in the back but with my other Riley jeans I don't feel like that's really there so I think that that's why if I wash it it might fit just like a tad better but I really 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 like the wash of this because it's kind of like a black mixed with the blue a little bit and the distressing on the knee I mean are you kidding me I really like that this is just like full-on ripped out I think I might keep these might wash them and see how they fit me because again I really like the color of them I don't have a color like this in my wardrobe I did end up picking up another pair of Riley jeans to try out this is like a new wash that I haven't seen before from them it's called clear skies I think and I did get it in my normal size of a 23 as well you can see that the inseam looks to be the exact same as the last pair that I tried on but overall this one the wash is a little bit different online it looked really really good and like a really good pair of light denim but in person I don't know if I'm really fond of like like the fading that the front has on this I'm not sure that if you can pick it up I don't know if I'm really too fond of this type of distressing on my knees either but they are in a good placement which is really good especially for being 5'1 and then with the waist and the rise again my favorite I think it fits really well there's minimal gapping in the back of these jeans too I'm telling you a Goldie really makes like the best like non stretch denim in my opinion but it's just a matter of like finding like the right wash and stuff in them and I think at this point just to be clear I think I'm just being really picky I'm typically really picky with my jeans and just finding the right pairs and like the right washes too I don't know why I'm so particular about it but I guess it's okay to be you know especially if you're dropping like this kind of money for some denim I feel like you gotta love them and you gotta make sure that they go with everything in your wardrobe too I ended up picking up a brand new type of a Goldie jeans that I haven't tried out before this is the Jamie style and you guys is this gonna be my new favorite pair over Riley I don't know so for these ones the length of them is I think it's supposed to be 28 inch inseam which I really like because this just means it's like a normal length jean for me so this would obviously look really good with sneakers with sandals with anything I really like the rips on them the color of this is actually quite phenomenal I really like this color of light denim they feel a little bit tighter throughout like my hips my thighs and especially like underneath my butt too so I feel like it kind of like scoops up my butt a little bit more than the Riley ones do this is a good high-rise fit to them and I do feel like the waist fits quite well well it's interesting that it does gap like a little bit but everywhere else it like it fits like pretty tight so I don't know if that's gonna bother me too much again I would have to see if like washing these if it like shrinks down the waist a little bit like I have seen done in the past with my jeans these ones are $178 so definitely like so far the cheaper option out of all of like the Goldie jeans that I've showed you but I think that these might be my favorite. This is another new style from a Goldie that I got to try out. This is the Sherry style, and I did get it in my normal size of a size 23. I don't think that this style is for me. I'm honestly not too mad about them being long because it is a raw hem, so this is honestly really easy to like cut up. The leg opening is quite nice on them as well, but for me, they just really don't fit like in the waist. You can see from the front that there's just like a lot of gapping around the waist and then they do gap above the butt as well. I mean, I guess I can have the waist taken in, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like you have to really love a pair of jeans to commit to doing something like that. But I also don't feel that I love the way that like my butt looks in these either. But dang, I had such high hopes for this pair of jeans. I thought that this was going to be like the ones for me, but nope these ones aren't gonna work out for me I think it's a 31.5 inch inseam on them so moving on to the next pair of jeans so these are Levi's 501 crop I got these in a size 23 right off the bat I feel like these fit me so well like they fit like a glove but they are definitely a non stretch denim even like more non stretch and stiff compared to the Goldie ones that I was sharing with you. Like it feels pretty tight through here and I feel like if I sit down, it's just like stiff throughout. 
But otherwise, like the fit of them, if I'm just focusing on that, I really like the inseam length on this. It comes right above my ankle, which is really nice. The wash of them is really nice. And the fit right here is great too. It is a little bit of a lower rise than the Goldie ones, but I still feel like it is high rise. The waist is really good. There's zero gapping on these jeans. They actually fit, like I said, kind of like a glove. They fit pretty phenomenally on me. I don't know, oh my God. And then on my butt, you guys, like, get out i feel like this just like cups it just like the shorts kind of in shock i feel like i really like these jeans my only thing is i feel like i have tons of crop jeans in my wardrobe and i want to find just normal full length jeans they keep going back to the crop and the crops are like the only ones that i end up finding but anyway i think that these ones are really nice and the best part you guys is under a hundred dollars it's 98 dollars for this pair of jeans. You guys, did I speak way too soon? Are these like my perfect full length jeans? What? So these are a pair that I picked up from Zara. They are a mid-rise jean, at least that's what they say on their website. But weirdly enough for me, I feel like they are high rise. I don't know, what do you think? And the waist on them fits really great and there's like no gapping on these. Surprisingly, these jeans are not tight in my hips. I feel like with all Zara jeans that I find, they're pretty tight in my hips and sometimes they give me a pancake butt, but I feel like these ones, there's lots of like room through here, which is great. Let me fix the length on these so that we can see what it would look like normally if I was to get them hemmed. But just so you guys can see, this is how long they are for being 5'1", so you definitely will have to get these altered. Okay, that's better. That's a rough idea of what they would look like, probably like a little bit shorter something like that. The wash of these, I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's like that perfect mid to light wash denim. You guys, they were $40. $40 for this like amazing pair of denim. This looks like easily what a Goldie would be charging, really. They look just so expensive and it's still like a non-stretch denim. So the fit is really good. I would highly recommend checking out these jeans. So for my last pair of denim, it's another pair from Zara. So I got these in a size zero. They were $40 as well. These are their mom fit jeans. It actually fits fairly well, but I'm not in love with the fit on me particularly. I don't know if I like like the tapered in leg on these and definitely like the wash. If you see them up close, it's kind of like an acid wash jean. And I also don't really like like the butt pockets on these, at least like, again, how it looks on me. But I wonder if I try this in a different color, if. I would like them a little bit more because they're fairly comfortable like in the hips they're not really tight they fit really nice in the waist like i think out of all of the jeans these are like the tightest in my waist without being like overly tight like i can still bend and breathe and it's still like stretchy enough the length of them isn't too bad either for being 5'1 this definitely goes to like the floor length but i feel like if they were like a boot cut jean i would be obsessed with these definitely not bad for the price overall though Finally, at the end, I honestly cannot believe that there were 16 pairs that I shared with you guys today. Let me know down below which ones are your favorite, which ones do you think I should keep. Also, let me know if you like this format. I was definitely trying to switch things up a bit for you guys. Anyway, as I mentioned before, everything will be listed down below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed before you go and you're following me over on Instagram at I am Carissa Renee, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, love you. Oh,